Great. Uh, I've got two quick questions. Uh, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is on the border, and he is escalating his attacks against the Biden administration, who, in his words, he calls, quote, the critical link in an illegal transnational human smuggling syndicate. I'm wondering if the White House has any response to that kind of rhetoric. Wait, say that one more time, because I have not I have not heard He's his mad. remarks. Uh, the governor says that the White House, in his words, is the critical link in an illegal transnational human smuggling syndicate. So I'm going to be careful, because yes, he's the governor, but he's also uh, a candidate. So I'm bound by the Hatch Act, so I'm going to be incredibly careful. And I'm not going to comment on campaign mat matters. What I can speak to is more broadly. And uh, you know, I will remind uh, remind you that uh, Repu congressional Republicans just voted, literally, they just voted a few weeks ago, a month ago, uh, to uh, uh, for the biggest border security cut in history, the biggest cut in history, when it came to the default uh, on America Act. That's what that was. Part of that act was to cut border security, and that's what they voted on. And meanwhile, what this president has done. Uh, he has secured record funding for border security. He has record number of agents and officers securing our border and is implementing policies that have resulted in significant drop in unlawful border uh, crossing since Title 42. That is what the president has done. And so, uh, you know, uh, I'm, again, going to be very mindful in how I respond. Uh, but speaking more broadly, I would say the question is to uh, not us, but it is to congressional Republicans and what they have done to, to make this situation uh, even more difficult by cutting, uh, by cutting the budget for, uh, by voting to cut the budget for border security and not supporting this president and what he's been trying to do. 